All right, Kryptonauts, this is my power display unit I've had as backup power for my computer. I've been using it kind of as my surge protector and kind of a meter as well to see what I am drawing. This thing will send out alarms if I get in the 900s, but I'm running off a typical 15110 house outlet. So what, 1500 watts is the ultimate max, and then so 80% of that is about 1200. So this thing triggers about high 900s, which is a nice safety thing. The alarm will go off and it'll generate a fault and shut down. So it's a nice safety, you know, just to stop things from just dripping your circuits and just pulling too much power. So right now this is at 640, whatever, under 700 um, watts. Let's make sure you can go through each one here, see your output. If it kicks on battery, it will not last that long with the, the three to four things I'm running off that there 621 watts 630 all right so what am i running off this the the beauty of cpu mining is you don't have a lot of gp you don't have gpus uh sucking a lot of power but uh with this setup this configuration i'm doing i do and there's a reason for it mainly because i don't have enough cables to hook everything on the rigs inside the grow tent so here we got the ryzen 9 3900X running headless. That's a Wi-Fi car, 2013 TP-Link. My little cheapy uh, Ars game bronze 750 watt power supply working fine. One memory stick, boom. He's he's running off. He's running off the uh, PDU down here. This is another Ryzen 9 uh, 3900X. This guy has a 3070 Ti, the dreaded. Nobody likes the LHR 3070 Ti, but eh, whatever. With that card, I had to set the curve in the curve editor on MSI um, Afterburner. I had to set the, the limit to like 950 volts. Otherwise, the thing would just run wild. The thing would just go to the moon and just and then crash everything. I don't know what's wrong with these cards. I don't know if it's the minor software or the card, but by setting in the curve editor, the max threshold that I want this thing to go in volts, it kind of made it run stable. I'm happy with that. I haven't touched this in a while. So this guy's running off it. We have a Corsair 750 right there. Up here we have, uh, what is this, Ryzen 5 something, and this is the Red Devil. Red Devil. 6600 XT running. The reason this is out here, not on my rig inside, is because I need a splitter to hook into the power supply and I'm out of cable so I ordered some. And the damn USPS, they keep putting my stuff in other people's mailboxes and it's driving me nuts. Oh, what is with these people? How hard is it to deliver mail? It's like a Seinfeld episode. Anyway, another RS game, 750 water. And then over here is another Kablamo Ryzen 5. He has nothing on him right now. And the reason he is off is because I did, uh, I scavenged his SATA drive to solve my, my um, ASUS motherboard issue inside the grow tent. Because on that motherboard, I was running a USB drive, and I think that was part of my problem when I went to add three GPUs to that motherboard. So this guy is shut down right now. And again, I was supposed to get a freaking SATA drive today, but thank you, US, USPS. Uh, you, your union's at work there. Kind of misplaced my second time that happened it's just driving me nuts it's getting expensive guys come on um so what are we doing here so all these three right now with the two graphics cards are drawing like you said under 700 i just hit display 6621 621 watts now here let's show you something beautiful let's go over here don't don't come walk with me come walk with me this is a tool there's the dog logo just got the logo hey RTM, Makataku Mining, and that's the dog. All right, this tool is the tool you should have. Hardware Info 64, go download it. Do Hardware HWINFO64, download, and it'll take you right to the place to get it. All right, I come up, and you can do sensors, and you look at, look at all the sensor information on every piece of equipment in your computer. It goes through everything, the CPU, the voltage, here's the Ryzen, even tells you what it is. It's kind of beautiful, it gives you the model name. Ryzen 3, 
this is a machine inside the grow tent. Again, I just get the bare minimum CPUs needed to run the motherboard and the GPUs because I, you know, at the time I wasn't going to do a CPU mining. And I learned not to do CPU mining in a grow tent with the GPUs. It gets way too high for some reason. I don't know. Just my experience. Uh, let's see. This is cool too. You get all the pop-ups telling you what everything is. So you can educate yourself pretty well here. CPU. Here's the Ryzen 3. Look at that. It tells you everything you need to know. So Hardware Info 64 is gold. This is your, this is your go-to tool set for learning about temperatures. Here's the CPU running at right now. The actual highest temperature among CPU sensors. Uh, here it goes through its current minimum, maximum average right there. See that? So this is your tool of choice you should have in your uh, tool belt. Download this puppy. I put it on my memory stick every time I install a new machine. I have a USB flash drive with all the stuff I want and I just put that in there and copy it over to my downloads instead of going to each website and download it all over again. I just get it, boom, copy it, done, got it all. And this is one of them. And you go through, you get your Ryzen, you go through, you get your voltage, your powers, your temperatures, like I said. Here it tells you your motherboard. Look at that. Gives you everything you want to know. It's amazing. Everything that everything burnt into these chips. It's dumping all the meta information to your screen. It's beautiful. Try finding that anywhere on the box or in the manual or on the board itself. Or even online. So here we go. This is uh, shows you the temperatures of the motherboard. All the dim stuff, CPU stuff, all the goodies you need to, if you ever care. Voltage. This is the uh, Kingston Drive. Look at that. It shows me my everything about my Kingston Drive. 120 gigs. Uh, let's see. Goes through. And now this is the cold part. This is the cold part too. In addition to MSI Afterburner, you know sometimes you don't have to run MSI Afterburner if you're running T-Rex Miner because you can set the overclock settings in the batch file itself and not have to worry about MSI Afterburner. But if you want to go in and uh, not use MSI Afterburner to check temperatures and stuff, you can come in here. Here's all the GPUs I have running. This one has six. And it shows you the uh, temperature in Celsius. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, it even shows you the memory clock. I did not know that. It shows you the GPU. Boy, I just learned myself something. Look at that. And I went to public school too. Look at that. I'm, I'm just I'm just constantly educating myself. All right, that's cool. Kind of does show you some of the stuff that you set this thing to. Not bad. Oh, it gives you your PCIe link speed, which may be valuable if you're setting up your BIOS or whatever sometimes. I don't know. Uh, GPU, there's GPU zero. Oh, it gives you the fan RPMs. There you go. Look, it's going through all my, oh, and also, it's telling you what's running. Look at that. It even tells you. It's a NVIDIA RTX 30, 3080 Ti. Heavy LHR, baby. Heavy LHR. But I'm getting high 80s with it. With the uh, new miner. I think MB miner. I can't remember which one I'm running. I lost track. There's so many miners. I'm losing track. Oh, boy. All right. Here's the temperature. Here's the other one. They're all. This case all has 3080 Ti's. This is my 3080 Ti rig. Yeah. Most of my other rigs um, are, are a melting pot of, of GPUs. Uh, but the rig I'm with the uh, Red Devils, with the Red Devils I got. I got two of those and I got a Hellhound, Hellhound, yeah, uh, 6600 XT. I want to put those in one rig. So that's at least three 6600s. And they do mix and match. I got those mixed with a uh, 3060 Ti. Yeah, well, they work fine, man. I mean, they're hashing, they're working together. People say don't mix them. I don't know. I know some miners like T-Rex, I think, doesn't like AMDs. They don't run with those. They run just with NVIDIA. So maybe that's what people meant. Here's your fan. Look, it's going through. Oh, look at that. Here's my real tech, whatever that is. Oh, my Ethernet shows you what's going on there. Any errors, window hardware errors. So again, guys, hardware info 6.4. I'm on version 7.12-4580 as of November. What are we? December 1st. December 1st, 2021. So I thought this was a useful tool. Sometimes we uh, we show people stuff and you don't realize that some people want to know what is that you're using and we kind of skip over it. So here it is, Hardware Info. One of the tools you should be downloading on every rig you build, every PC, every every computer you own should have this. Uh, that's why I like Windows Mining. I, I feel I have more control over what I'm doing when I'm Windows Mining right now. I mess with HiveOS a little bit, 
I can see the pros of it for management and monitoring and stuff. But I've got a system down now with nine rigs. Most, you know, some are CPUs, some are GPUs, some are mixed, and I'm doing just fine. Um, I think I learn more too because I know exactly what I'm setting in the uh, minor files, the settings. But I can see as it grows, you want to probably move to some managed software. And like I said before, the only thing against that right now is fees. I hate paying fees. It's bad enough I pay the GUI, the GUI, just to get my money. And like I said, I just hate paying fees just to get the money I mine out to my exchange. It's so, same with Hive OS and Awesome Miner and all these other things. Uh, you gotta pay a fee. And right now, I'm, I can do this myself and I'm not paying any fees, except when I run the miner, right? They're charging a 1%, whatever they're charging a develop fee. So, there you have it. So what else can I show you? So, uh, HW Info, along those lines is, um, there's a GPU Z, but this one gives you everything you need. So, and there's stuff in here. You can scan and up, update drivers. They're gonna try to sell you some stuff. Uh, let's see what's happening here or there. You can go in here and play around with this stuff. I have not messed with it. It'll kind of help you. I don't know what else they got. Remote monitoring. Configure sensors. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here you can do. Uh, I just do it for monitoring right now. This kind of tells me what's running, what temperatures. And what I like too is the, uh, the information it gives you just on, look, rising. It's a rising 3, 3200. How would I know that? I mean, it's not, I mean, other than looking at the box and trying to find the box I bought, this tells me right up front, boom, now I know what I'm running. Uh, there it is again. There's my, um, like I said, there's the uh, Ryzen 3. Here's the motherboard. I like that. That alone is worth it, worth its weight in gold, right? So there you go. Tools for the trade. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any, if you have any uh, useful tools you can recommend people. That's why I like the community. It's awesome. People all want to help each other. They want everyone to succeed. They throw out ideas. They say, go try this. You live in, you know, you go try, you fail, you try, you succeed, and you share that information. Well, that's all I got. Thank you. I'm out. Got to go find that dog.